While state government struggles to get recreational marijuana to New York customers, some Seneca business people have already opened dispensaries. Yeah, for right now, these shops are the only way to access legalized pot in Western New York. Our Steve Brown has that story tonight. Fall is another busy season in Ellicottville. The leaves are starting to turn. Just 15 minutes south of here, for sale are leaves ready to burn. A trio of privately owned marijuana dispensaries have sprung up along Route 417 on territory belonging to the Seneca Nation. As you can see on this map, all three are pretty close, within two and a half miles of each other. But this morning we saw business at all of them taking advantage of the state government's slow rollout of recreational cannabis, something Governor Kathy Hochul identified as a priority shortly after taking office. And that is to jumpstart the long overdue decisions pertaining to establishing cannabis in the state of New York. But while the state's cannabis management board holds its first meeting next week, this man who asked not to be identified is offering rec or recreational marijuana from this structure and has been for two weeks. The, the rec market is huge though, you know what I mean? People just light up anywhere nowadays and they don't really care. If you're wondering if state government is okay with these tribal dispensaries, it is. A spokesman for the Office of Cannabis Management tells two on your side, dispensaries are legal if they are on federally recognized sovereign tribal land. Now, to avoid getting a closer look by federal authorities, there is a quirk at all three shops. Customers don't actually purchase pot. At this shop, you buy a sticker. So how much do the stickers cost? Anywhere from 35 all the way up to $280. You give us a donation, and with that, we give you the, the marijuana, you know what I'm saying? The amount spent on the sticker determines what cannabis gift or gifts the customer may receive in return. It's the same deal at Doogie's dispensary down the road. Buy a sticker, get gifted pot. At this dispensary, you purchase bags of Chex Mix for a cannabis gift. Now, back to this owner who says dispensaries are dotted all around Seneca Lance. Now, today, the Seneca Nation did not disclose just how many there might be. Well, I think they do want to get ahead of the state, obviously. It's a good move for us as a nation. And at this point, the Senecas are the only legal recreational cannabis game in this town and all across western New York. In Kilbuck, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.